Hey guys, back again with another First Impressions video, and in case you're wondering, the First Impressions today is Dead Space 3, and no, the first disc isn't in it, because I cheated you. I cheated all of you, didn't even realize it. Anyways, um, First Impressions, Dead Space 3. It's actually not that bad. It's really fun. It's not as good as Dead Space 1 or 2. Dead Space 1 is still the best out of all of them, but that's just my opinion. Um, it does feel more grand and epic than the other ones did, but it hasn't reached Resident Evil 6 or 5 yet, in my opinion. I'm going to sit down because I need to be comfortable. Anyways, like, it hasn't reached the level of, like, ridiculousness that Resident Evil 6 or 5 have. I mean, maybe more or less Resident Evil 5, but not so much Resident Evil 6. I'm only in the beginning of the game. I just completed Chapter 4. But... Yeah, it's a lot of fun, even though I don't know what could be better with Connect. I don't have a Connect, so I don't really know. And um, and also, apparently this is a limited edition. I don't know what's so limited about it. It looks like a standard edition. It didn't come with anything special other than an online pass. Don't try to use it. I already did. But um, online pass for multiplayer that I'm probably never going to use. Um, even though I think the multiplayer is only caught, but that's not the point. The point here is that, um, yeah, I don't think this has, like, the death matches and all that, that Dead Space 2 had that I think only, like, one person played. No, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I haven't started the co-op multiplayer yet, and it's not like in Resident Evil 5 where it was always you and someone else. It was... It's just like if you're playing single player, you're playing by yourself. There's no like AI to like assist you or anything like that or to steal your items. No, it's just like it's just you, but then you can bring in a friend who also has the game. This has no local multiplayer. It's only um uh Xbox Live multiplayer, no couch multiplayer, no split screen anything like that, which kind of sucks, but you're in an enclosed environment, so it kind of makes sense that you have to like watch it on two different screens. But Anyways, the gameplay, it's standard Dead Space. You shoot off enemy limbs and then they die. But this time around, you actually have to fight humans, which is kind of weird. I am not. I don't like fighting humans in Dead Space. I want to fight the Necromorph straight on. I don't want to be interrupted by these people, these cult members who want to destroy humanity. Like, I don't care if they're like the side villain causing all this havoc, but I just don't like fighting them. They're not as fun to fight as the Necromorphs. And plus, they don't have the fun kill animations when you kill them. They just kind of like drop when you kill a necromorph their body parts fly off because that's how you have to kill them and this one no you have to like shoot at them and then they just die like you don't see their heads decapitating or anything like that even with the plasma cutter i also kind of don't like how you have an assault rifle in this game i don't like the fact that you're using machine guns or guns in general i like you know using engineering like i like using tools in these games because that's what made these games unique the, you use tools which more or less were essentially guns but it would just made it a lot more fun, you know. You, you you get your plasma cutter, which you can pretty much use without any of the Dead Space games, just straight on. Um, you have the line cutter, the buzz saw, the flamethrower. You got all that. And this time around, like you start the first weapon you use is a machine gun, and they made the machine gun more powerful than the plasma cutter, as so it seems. So they clearly want you to use the assault rifles in this more than they want you to use, you know, the tools. Um, there are no more nodes in this game. Now you like pick up equipment to build weapons and items and all that good stuff. Uh, you don't upgrade your weapons with nodes either. I mean, you don't like you don't find weapons throughout this game. You find pieces to build weapons. Um, there's no nodes to upgrade your weapons. You get these little power chips, and then you put them in the weapon, and they would like upgrade a certain thing. And then you find other pieces of other things, and then you attach it to your weapon to upgrade it it's a little cool system but i would have preferred the nodes i think it was just easier more straightforward and less grindy i feel like finding money for nodes and finding nodes around was less time consuming less grindy than trying to find these you know pieces of equipment just laying around i mean it's not it's not bad it's a it's fun to you know try and like craft your own little weapon but you know, it, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And I didn't think the power node thing was a bad thing. And I think they actually improved it in Dead Space 2. But, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. 
like I said, it's a little fun, but like I said, it's kind of grindy and tedious. But then again, I am just in the beginning of the game, so who knows. Uh, you can upgrade your suit still from in the game. You do, you, you do that, like I said, it's not through nodes. You find, you also find little pieces of things. I don't know what their names are. You just kind of find scraps of items, and then you use those to upgrade the air, the damage, the armor, and all that stuff. The kinesis, all that stuff. Yeah, they took a lot of stuff out that worked well with Dead Space, you know. And I only think I got the plasma cutter in the beginning because of the fact that um, my Dead Space 2 transfer came to this one and it said I unlocked a plasma cutter. And if they, like, if they didn't want me to play with the plasma cutter in the beginning, just normally, then, you know, that really kind of bums me out because the plasma cutter is the reason why the game's a lot of fun. So I don't know why they would take out, you know, the tools and replace them with weapons. I know why they do it, actually. They wanted to have it more, you know, action-oriented, which I'm not going to rag on the developer for trying something new. No, I wouldn't do that. Uh, it didn't work for Resident Evil, though, and that's kind of the problem. They're still in this game, though. A lot of, you know, corridors, and the Necromorphs are still threatening, but, you know, it's the fact that it is going for more of a Gears of War route than it is Dead Space, which is kind of a letdown. But... If you're willing to let some of that aside, you're just going to have a good time with it. If I was going to give it a rating, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Where the first one is a solid 10, the second one's an 8, this one's a 7. Um, extraction, uh, let's see, I think I'd give that one an 8 as well. Extraction was a lot of fun. And that random Xbox Live game that I think no one played, the only people who have played it were the people who got it from the Dead Space 2 pre-order. That was okay, I, but that one's like kind of a 6 out of 10. Yeah, but this one, though, it is fun. You're going to have fun playing it. And maybe as I go into it more, I'll have even more fun with it. Maybe my rating will improve. But as of now, it stands at a 7. So, right at first, I only got it because I'm a fan of Dead Space. And I want to see how the story ends. Or if this is even the last game. Who knows, I might be making a Dead Space 4. I don't know how this one, I don't know how this game ends. So, anyways, that's my review, my first impression for Dead Space 3. Check it out if you get the chance. Rent it first. Don't buy it if you're interested. And if you like what you're seeing, definitely pick it up or wait for a sale price. Anyways, that's my review. Check it out later.